Hello all, welcome to OraTrainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we migrate the BIP components, like especially reports, from one instance to another instance. Let's get into agenda. What is a migration? What is archive and archive? What is upload, download? And how do we migrate a report using a SOAP API? And we just give one more understanding of VBS. What is the purpose of VBS? What is a migration? Migration, you can also call it as deployment. It's nothing but an installation of code from one instance to another instance. Nothing but copying a code from one environment to another environment. In general IT world, what happens is that the developer, you start designing the component in the development environment. Once it is unit tested properly, then you'll be migrating to test environment, wherein the functional team or business analyst test it. And then again, you, from the test environment, you'll be navigating to, you'll be deploying to maybe the next level of instance or it can be production environment. So it's nothing but a migration is nothing but an installation of a code from one environment to another environment. So what are the options we have it? Like a, for moving a code or a copying a code from one instance to another instance, for developer, what are the options we have? The first option we want to discuss is archive as well as unarchive. So you just try to navigate to your Fusion application URL slash analytics. And then what you can do is you can just select the appropriate component when you're trying to select a component, it can be a data model, it can be a report, or it can be a folder also. And when you come out, when you come to analytics section, it's, it's just not a data model, it's just not like a BIP data model or report. It can be a OTBI report, it can be OTBI data, like a dashboard, and there are a lot number of other components. So what you can do is select the component and then click off, click, click on archive option. So once you click on archive option, it will download a dot catalog file, the component name dot catalog file. That is in the source environment, you have to do it. And how do you migrate it? So just similarly open the target environment in another browser or in the same browser. And then what you have to do, you just click on unarchive option and then automatically it will open a pop-up. In that you select the file and then click on okay. Then it'll get uploaded. Okay, so this is how you can use archive as well as unarchive option. And this works, this works especially for the OTBI, BI reports, and even the BI, and the OTBI reports, OTBI dashboards, and even the BI publisher, XML publisher reports, I mean to say, BI publisher reports, I can say. And there is one more option also you have it. There's nothing but when you're trying, you can design a BIP report, especially this XMLP server works only for BIP report, but slash analytic works for both BIP report as well as OTBI reports. So, there are chances like some developers, developers may prefer slash XMLP server and they, they can design the report. And here you don't find any archive and archive option, but you have a simple upload and download option. Okay, so you select the component, it can be file folder, and then click on download. It will download the appropriate folder or a file with appropriate extension. And then in the target environment, what you do is simply click on upload. It will open a file dialog and select the file and then you can upload it. So this is how you can use upload download option. Either way is fine. But only thing is in the XMLP server, it shows only the BIP components. It, it will not show any OTBI components. Other one is we have a SOAP API service. Like uh, let us say, you know, like uh, in the normal CI CD environment, like uh, what, do you, what, I mean, what I'm trying to tell you is, wherein you will be storing your code in some kind of repository and like uh, wherein, you know, like uh, in some environment, they don't give you any option of UI permission to load it. They want everything to be automated. In those scenarios, generally a web service approach is preferred. So we have a web service API, like a SOAP API is called catalog service. And in this catalog web service, we have a lot number of like a functionalities which are available, like a copy, download, create, many other things are there, run a report, many things are there. In this example, you can observe that like we have a method called download object where we have to mention the absolute path of a report, user ID password, and then it provides the day 64 code of the definitely like a source code of that particular component and this particular one we have to upload it and of course from the soap api you know like uh, it simply shows the encoder format right but in reality what happens is generally we use it like uh, maybe this is one of the tool i can say not like uh, first let me clear this let me finish this one first and in the the request here if you observe i just provide one more screenshot to understand how like what are the parameters you have to provide like a re report absolute path user ID password. This is a SOAP API request here. And response, you'll get the SOAP API response wherein you get the object definition in a base64 format. So in general, what happens generally is like uh, 
we may use a tool called like a, in this scenario i'm just discussing about one of the tool called visual builder studio which is a ci cd tool like continuous integration continuous deployment tool from oracle and using this this is also called as dev cs tool earlier like a developer cloud service but these days like a, from past few years onwards it is called as visual builder studio using this particular ci cd tool what we can do is we can deploy a component nothing but you can import the bip source code and you can export the source code nothing but you can get the source code from development environment and you can deploy the source code to the target environment like of course like a, there is a there are, we have to write a unix script or a python script and we have to schedule a job there is a lot number of configuration involved but this is to just tell like a automation you can do via vbs tool also okay it all depends upon the environment which you work on now let us see few examples now like uh, first let me navigate to the instance and now here i am in the slash analytics this is my fusion erp url and followed by slash analytics now let's say i'll just click on home okay uh, it's okay i think better i'll click on catalog so that i can see the folders folders as well as files okay now what i'll do is i'll navigate to custom slash raw trainings assume that i just want to download only one data model what i can do simply click on archive it will download the data model if at all if you want to download let us say if you want to download a few other set of components here if you observe right, you can't download a multi multi file either you can file you can download a single file you can download a single file or you can download a total folder you can't do a download of a multi file so here i select a folder i can click on archive Okay, now it got downloaded. If at all, if you want to upload, what you can do, click on unarchive and browse. And here it select, let us, I want to upload this one. And it shows extension like a .xdm catalog. nothing but it's a data model catalog. Click on okay. This will replace the existing data model, which is already available. So this is how we can use a archive as well as unarchive option. Now coming to the other option slash XMLP server. So the only diff here, if you observe, right? Click on catalog. Okay, let me select our trainings. Now, when you click on download, just see what exactly it shows. It shows it downloads a file with a dot extension dot xdr set. Let us say if you try to download a report, it shows dot xdoz. If you're trying to download a data model, it may have a different extension. It will download with a xdm. By just seeing the extension, we can say like a, what is a, it's a folder or it's a data model or it's a report also. We can just try to tell it. And what you do, just click on select the appropriate folder where you want to upload. And now let us say if you want to upload, what you have to do, just select the appropriate folder again properly so that it shows the op options clearly now. And click on upload and then select the file. Yeah. And here, if you observe, right, the file name as we, I already have this file name in my system. That's the reason it was, it downloaded with the file name iPhone one, right? Like a parenthesis one. But when you're trying to upload, the file name should be exactly match it. Else what will happen? Now let us if try to upload this, right? It will create a new component with this name. So which is not, we don't, which which we are not intend to do it, right? It's like nothing but you're trying to create another, another, another component. So when you're trying to download, make sure that the file name is exactly what you want to download. Let's see that what happens now. It should create a new component rather than replacing the existing one. So we have to wait until unless it says upload complete. Okay. Yeah. Now we can close this one or we can just cancel. Now what happened instead of replacing that, you know, it created a new component instead of replacing this one, it created a new component. That's the reason your particular component, which you're downloading, it should have the same name. If at all, if you, if you have a duplicates in your particular, like a recall in your local system, better clear the, clear the content and just download the file again so that you will not have any duplication, duplication. Okay, so this is all about like uh, reports migration Oracle Fusion ERP. Thank you.